What's up gamers, your boy Beast Gamer Kuma here with a new review. This is our review of Creatures of Ava, which is available right now on Xbox Game Pass. Which I got a review copy a week before it dropped, but you know, it took my time to get into the game. And this will be my spoiler-free review. So, let's sit back and let's get into this game. What is Creatures of Ava? Well, simple fact that you're playing as one explorer named Vic, who is trying to help stop an infection that's called the withering. It's causing this planet to get problems infecting the animals. So your job or task is to help the creatures and the people of this planet. And you land on this strange planet, but you still are tasked to do your job. The best part about this is it's kind of funny with the comedic standoff of how they mispronounce your, leg, your name by calling you strong legs. And then it gets worse as you progress through the game. But either way, you get these abilities. Of course, you become something special as you get a staff that can disinfect the withering, especially help the animals. And once you do, you also get a playable flute. Sorry if I'm rushing this a little bit. It's a lot to take in because I'm already about eight, nine hours into the game. And honestly, it's very relaxing. It's a beautiful indie game. And I like the kind of gameplay that you have to do on it. It's not really too violent. You can get knocked out by some of the infected animals. But then you'll just, you know, wake up in the last place that you was at to continue what you were supposed to do. Now, using your staff, you can hit a beam of light to disinfect creatures and the fauna around the area so you can open up new paths. There's a simple puzzle aspect to it and sometimes I had to finagle some of the areas to get around certain obstacles which I didn't realize that I can use also staff to lift up certain things I kept on forgetting what button was but RB lifts up certain objects for you to traverse or get through certain paths and like I said with the staff you can disinfect certain animal all the animals in this world and it causes a chain effect but you got to be careful which is thankfully you get a dodge button dodging out the way and once you finally disinfect the animals you can play your flute that you get from the local natives and you can see what kind of song you'll need to tame these beasts and once you do you can actually mind melt with them which is pretty fascinating to actually take over the animal to also help you get through certain obstacles some can break branches some can bring down ropes some can open up bridges and doors for you it's quite cool and each animal has a different special ability some dig some can climb up vines others fly around and cause sonic wave effects some can activate certain plants to drop certain materials for you and there is a simple crafting system when you're going around picking up plants of course when you play games for so many years you can start to see the pattern and it doesn't get repetitive to me it just makes me intrigued on what they can do differently and make this interesting and fun and I love it. It's the ultimate creature saving adventure game. And you bring them to this little portal area where you could teleport each animal to send off, you know, for safety. And then you get skill points. You got a pretty intense skill tree to get through to make your adventure much more pliable. And you have to open up gates to get to certain new areas. In the long run, the only thing I would have to say bad that I encountered was some glitches and, you know, some rubber banding coming from the game even though it's running on unreal engine 4 which is not too far off it still looks pretty good it has the same art style like palia or dreamlight valley and it you know it's pretty intriguing and i do like learning the different flute notes for each animal and honestly you should it's not it's not going to be kind of the thing where you have to write it down i mean you could write down the flute notes but you can still get interaction from the animals to tell you how to tame them after you disinfect them. And it does get crazy where you have to really unlock certain things to upgrade your flute and your staff. And going to new areas, you're going to need a different flute for each animal. Not too bad. I'm well for that area, not each animal. Just wherever new area you go to, you're going to need a new flute to tame those beasts. Pretty much an upgrade. So it's not like you're going to have to switch between the different flute. Your main flute would just get another upgrade for that area. And going around the world is visually beautiful. The music, the sound effects. I wish there was more voice acting involved because you get... I, I always have a problem with games that give you a tidbit of voice acting. 
And then when you get into the game, you just have to read a whole bunch of text. I was like, give us the best of both worlds. Get, get those voice acting chops going. It's pretty cool, but I like the slight comedic side of it. There's also aggression side from some of the natives where they seeing you as another colonizer that's infecting their people with the human technology and stuff like that. So it's, you're pretty much also trying to prove that you're not a threat. You're trying to actually help them. But they want you to believe in the power of Ava, which is the planet. So <laughs> it's, it's a soul-searching, relaxing action adventure game. And I, and I love it. It's pretty good. But if you want to read my full spoiler review, you can check out my Patreon page with the link in the below. But yes, Creatures of Ava is available right now for Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and Microsoft Windows. It's available free on Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate. Check it out for yourself. My final review score, I give Creatures of Ava a four out of five beastly paws. Again, check it out for yourself. Thank you all for chiming in on to my review, and I will see you next time. As always, beast out.